Hi, this is Scott with Learn to Stop Hunger, and today we're going to take a look at how to create an RSS feed with RSS Builder. So I have a couple websites that I work on, and um, I decided that I wanted to make an RSS feed. I found uh, a nifty little utility called RSS Builder. It's pretty simple to use, and it enabled me to quickly make an RSS feed and so uh, just wanted to demonstrate how you can do that yourself for your website. If you go ahead to your favorite search engine type RSS Builder and then you want to go to the SourceForge link for RSS Builder and then once you're there you can go ahead and go to this big download link here to download the MSI and looks like it'll download it here in a few seconds so we'll go ahead and do that and actually it's pretty small and once you've downloaded that you want to go ahead and run it and it's a pretty typical Windows installer you can just walk through clicking the next buttons I've already got it installed so I'm going to go ahead and launch it now And here's what RSS Builder looks like. And actually, I'm probably one step ahead. Um, another thing that I wanted to do real quick is to set up a sample website to test this out with. So I'm going to go ahead and launch. We got an older copy of Visual Studio Express for web, Visual Web Developer Express, I guess it says. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a new website. And we'll do just the ASP.NET website. And I'm going to save it to this location. We'll just pretty much go with their default website here. And if I do start debugging, we'll see here. This is what my site looks like. It's pretty simple. Go to about, go to home. All right, so there's my site. I'm going to stop that. Now I'm going to bring RSS Builder back up. And it's th at this point where I can uh, start to fill out my feed. And in order to create the new RSS feed, you got to fill out some fields here. Let's say that my website is Acme Widgets. So you would just put the title of your website there. You want to put your URL here. So in my case, it's going to be www.acme.com and it helps if I can type properly. Alright, you can put a copyright here, let's just say 2014 Acme. My language is English, that's what I like. Um, editor, you can put an email address here for the person who writes your RSS entries. Um, I'm going to say author at acme.com and then the webmaster for the site the email address of the webmaster and we'll say it's webmaster at acme.com and then just a description of your feed this is a feed describing Acme website updates. Alright, that's our description. And then if you want an image to go with it, you just fill out these properties and you can even provide a style sheet to style your feed XML. I'm going to keep it simple here. I'm not going to do that, but you can do that if you like. So, 
in my case, uh, I want to go ahead and put an initial topic to say, hey, I added an RSS feed. So you got to click this button here, which is add a topic. Then you fill in the title, which uh, will say new RSS feed. And this, these fields here all go with your individual RSS article entries or topics, new RSS feed topics. Um, for the link, I'm just going to point to my home page, but you could actually point to a specific location within your site if you want to. The next thing, you may want to provide a text string to categorize the RSS updates. For now, I'm just going to put general. And comments is, that would be a URL where users can go to comment on the feed. So let's say in this case it is acme.com slash comments dot ASPX for author and put the um, email address of the author. So we'll just say it once again author at acme.com you can change your publish date here that's when this feed entry is published and then describe description you describe um, what all is going on here and you can actually bring up this other editor and use some HTML um, so we can say a new feed was added to keep folks up to date on Acme and Let's see, can we bold this? Yes, all you gotta do if you wanna, you can provide some HTML formatting here. I just bolded Acme. We'll go ahead and hit close. You can see that translates to a strong tag. So now I have my first entry and I have my RSS um, file ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the feed. And let's put this out where my website is, which is on the D drive. I put it under website to you here. And um, what I've done in the past is I just put this rss.xml file in the root folder of my website. So I'll go ahead and do that. And that's all we need to do here. So, now the next thing that we may want to do, I'm looking at my website here. Um, I'm going to hit the refresh button here. You can see rss.xml is in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a new para and say subscribe to our feed. And actually, let's make this, I'll make this a link here to rss.xml. I'll put some quotes around that. To our feed. Right, and the period. I'll save my page and let's go ahead and launch this page for debugging again. 
Okay, this is our website, and now you can see I've got this. Subscribe to our feed. It looks like the link goes to rss.xml. I'll go ahead and click on it, and it takes us to our RSS feed. Now, um, one more thing that I'll show you. Let's go ahead and stop our debugging session there and open up RSS Builder again. And what you can do now is go ahead and open that previously edited feed or created feed. So mine was under this website too. We'll go ahead and open it. You can see we got everything here. So let's say that this is after the fact and now I have I want to add a new topic here. Let's say that I updated the about page. All right, so I did that and put in a link here. acme.com slash about dot ASPX and we'll just make our category contacts and add that comment URL again was acme.com slash comments dot ASPX. Now that is optional and I don't actually have a comments page so I mean on your production site if you don't have a comments page then you would just want to leave that blank. Once again author at acme.com is the person adding this entry or the email address of that person. And then I want to add a description here. Let's say uh, we updated contact info so you can better reach us. Alright, so that's our new entry. Go ahead and hit save, and we'll close out of here and launch our debugging session again. Let's take a look at the feed, and now you can see we've got a second entry here, and it puts the most recent one at the top. So that's pretty much it in terms of the basics of creating an RSS feed with RSS Builder. I hope that you find this to be useful, and hopefully you'll be able to add uh, a nice RSS feed to your website to keep your user base up to date on any changes that you make to your website.